O is a point outside a circle and is 15 centimeter away from its center. A secant drawn from this point O intersect the circle at I1 and I2 in such a way that O I1 equals to 8 centimeters and 4 times of I1 I2 equals to 5 times of I1 O. The radius of the circle is. Options given are 8 centimeters, 9 centimeters, 10 centimeters or 7 centimeters. Right, so let's let's draw the diagram and understand what's happening here. O is a point outside the circle and is 15 centimeter away from the center. So let's consider a circle. It doesn't look like a circle. Let me redraw it. Yeah. So let's say this is the circle. The center here is this. Now O is a point outside the circle and it's 15 centimeter away from its center. So let's say O is the point here. This is the point O. And this is the center of the circle. Let's say C is the center of the circle. So what is the distance between C and O? 15 centimeters. Right? The distance between C and O is 15 centimeters. Now a secant is drawn from the point O which intersects the circle at I1 and I2. So from the point O you draw a secant. What is a secant? A secant is a line drawn from an external point which intersects the circle at two points. Yeah. So let's say this is the secant. So you can see that from the point O, this is the point O, right? From this point, when you draw a line, it intersects the circle at this point, which is let's say I1, and then this point, which is I2. So it inter intersects the circle at two points, I1 and I2. I1 and I2. In such a way that O I1 is 8 centimeter. O I1. You getting it? Look at look at look at this. This is the point O, right? So O I1 is 8 centimeter, right? This is 8 centimeter. This is 8. O I1 is 8 centimeter and 4 times of I1 I2 equals to 5 times of I1 O. 4 times of I1 I2 equals to 5 times of I1 O. Then he's asking us to find out the radius of the circle. Right? What is the radius of the circle? See, let me let me just draw a straight line from the point O in a fashion which where it passes through the circle, passes through the center of the circle. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to draw a neat diagram, so it is taking so much of time. You know, when you're solving it yourself, you don't have to worry about neatness there. So this is the center of the circle. So from the point O, the secant is this, O I1 I2. And this is another line, right, which is passing through the center of the circle, which means this, this segment of the line is the diameter. This segment of the line is the diameter. Let's say the diameter is AB. The diameter is AB, yeah. And center of the circle is C. So basically AC is equal to R and CB is also equal to R. Radius, right, from the center to any point of the circle is the radius. So AC is R or CA is R and CB is also R. Now consider this equation given to us 4 i1 i2 equals to 5 i1 o 4 i1 i2 equals to 5 times of i1 o what is i1 i2 i1 i2 has to be calculated but what is i1 o it is equal to 8 right so from this we can say i1 into i2 equals to 5 by 4 into i1 o what is i1 o i1 o is 8 how much is this it goes two times gives us 10 so basically i1 i2 this segment is equal to i1 i2 this segment comes out to be 10 Right, so O I1 is 8, I1 I2 is 10, I1 I2 is 10, that's what we have calculated. Now there's one very important theorem that we have discussed in circles. If you recall the uh, videos that we have, you know, covered in the topic of circles, right, under geometry, one important uh, application that you need to remember is from an external point, these are like two seconds, right, I mean, O I1 I2 is one second, O B A is the other second, right. So the point here is O I1 into O I2 is equal to O B into O A. You understand from the point O, O I1 and O I2. From the point O, O B and O A. Both are like points where the lines intersect the circle, right? So O times of O, o I1 times of I O, o times sorry. O I1 times of O I2 should be equal to O B times of O A. This is a very important theorem that you need to remember, right? That's it. Now try and substitute the values here. What is OI1? OI1 is equal to 8. What is OI2? See, OI2. OI2 is 8 plus 10 total. 10 plus 8, which is 18. Right? Total is 18. So OI1 is 8. I1, I2 is 10. So that makes OI2 equals to 10 plus 8, 18. So this is 18, which is equal to OB. OB. What is OB? See, understand. We know that OC is 15. This total length is 15. From 15, if I subtract the radius R, I'll get OB. So OB can be taken as 15 minus R into what is OA, O times A, sorry, OA. What is OA? OC is 15 and CA is R. So OA becomes 15 plus R. 
15 plus r. That's it. One equation and only one variable. R is the only variable. Can you solve for it? And that is the requirement, right? He's asking us to find out the radius of the circle. So 9 times of 18 is, sorry, 8 times of 18 is uh, 144, which is equal to, this is a plus b into a minus b, a squared minus b squared. So 15 squared, 225 minus r squared. So from this r squared comes out to be 225 minus 144, which is 81. Yeah. So if r squared is 81, r will be 9. So 9 centimeter is the answer. Option 2, 9 centimeter is the answer. All right. I think a very interesting question. The most important part here is this. You got to remember this. OI1 into OI2 equals to OB into OA. Yeah. OI1 into OI2 equals to OB into OA. Rest is just playing with those equations, finding out the different line segments and substituting the values or uh, the equations there to get the required answer.